courtesy of Stussy. They released some great imagery because um, to showcase some of their new eyewear pieces for summer, which, you know, it's a bit late. Summer's gone. But still, in terms of imagery and in terms of execution, Stussy are just up there. Might be, I've mentioned a few times on social, this is might be the, one of the greatest turns around when it comes to a modern, um, you know, behemoth of a streetwear brand kind of going from being quite irrelevant and slowly but surely kind of feeling like they're going down the oh uh, what, what was that called they're kind of you feel like they're going down the maharishi route right maharishi's had like many false dawns where you thought they were going to come back and they just flattered to deceive and stussy has somehow been able to completely turn their their massive tanker engine of heritage around and basically reinvent themselves and garnered the intention of everybody in a scene it feels like i see loads of people wearing sushi not just the younger kids coming up like it's kind of reinvent it's kind of reinvigorated people who maybe had learned about stussy through you know goldie starring in some of those old adverts back in the day have now been reinvigorated to come back and start purchasing stuff again so big up them for just doing a good job and um yeah making summer glasses look fairly cool that you'd want to wear them you know great use of models great pictures and um, great execution in the shapes and stuff and easy nice stuff to wear and then if that wasn't any better they finally decided to release the lookbook for their 421 collection and again the four collections are just amazing maybe i would say overall especially in the last few years for the level of consistency and for the amount of stuff that i want to buy the stuff that i'll kind of put into my basket and think about for a, a, an exorbitant period of time stushi definitely has been the far more consistent brand out of like maybe a supreme i definitely if i was still into wearing this sort of garb on a daily basis i'd definitely rather spend my money on stuff like stussy and maybe patsa to a certain extent than going to buy stuff from supreme because they just i don't know they smash out of the park so this is their full 2021 collection you've got the women's down here and the men let's continue here and see some of the pieces um you've got this amazing i don't even know what that is that's that's super cozy um it that looks like a pile sort of fluffy hoodie with straps with stripes that's quite similar to this kind of alpaca -y kind of um hoodie that i bought in mexico city a couple of years ago it's kind of their interpretation of it it looks amazing if you want to get your little drake on and do the little cute e-girl pose with your mirror that definitely is one of them great combat pants again um, they've got these kind of, um, I'm going to say these are ACGs. I'm going to say they're mocks as well, if I'm not mistaken. It's a collaboration. I guess they've got this sort of like um, uh, moccasin slipper that they've got going on here that, I've, if I'm not mistaken, is probably an ACG. But again, a good indication of, you know, Stussy's ability to just dive into the Nike archive and pull out some old shoes that you'd never really cared about anymore. And they basically reinvented them or breathe some new life into them and now suddenly all the kids are going to give a shit about them once again it's just a brilliant again to see this top as well is fairly nice and those kind of what are those uh what are those corduroy pants right they are yeah nice corduroy pants just subtly done that kind of classic vintage logo with the crest um on there you got the trapper sort of country hat there she's wearing Great flannel shirts are always pretty good. Knit hoods. Look at that sweatshirt with the dices. Like just simple, well executed stuff that you can easily wear. The shoes are those Dr. Martin collaborations, I'm assuming, right? Look like Dr. Martin's collaborations. Made in England, I'm assuming, probably too. Again, expertly done. Really tasteful. Volume pleat your trousers. They're going to be very, very popular. I'd assume this entire outfit is probably going to sell out in record time. That's for sure. You've got um, classic work shirts and work jackets, similar to what Carhartt would do in terms of denim. Not for me personally, because you have to pair. Yeah, I'd have to, I'd have to wear a pair. Of, I'd have to wear a pair of Red Wings and grow a massive beard to, in order to make stuff like this work. And I'm just not willing to look like um, a guy that used to go to what's that shop self edge and post on sufu in order to wear that sort of stuff i'm just not gonna do it <laughs> but yeah again nice tops those um nike collaboration cloggy sort of acg things i spoke about are uh, back in attention like i'm not really a fan of wearing clog slippers or anything that's got a non -sh back strap but these look really good these look really nice again they remind me of the nike air mocks a little bit that kind of potato-y sack upper oh look at these mountain boots i wonder if they're a club as well those what are those crinkly trousers crinkle pants crinkle shirt as well very isimiyaki-esque 
got this whole nice patchwork flannel shirt going on again got the cozy um woodsy blanket stitch fleece like oh just terrific all around man just so 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 good you really can't deny how good most of the stuff is very jamiroquai esque oh look at that jacket i'm just coming to that hat is amazing isn't it but this outfit oh look at that what is that you got the striped down puffer jacket which reminds me a little bit of a jacket that balenciaga did a white no a flannel they did that had like the stripey print on it that i would die for but unfortunately sold out in various places i think it might be Balenci it was balenciaga it wasn't very small definitely balenciaga it might have been four into 17 um but this looks amazing with that gray hoodie underneath and the boots oh ho, ho. don't piss me off continue again some nice women's stuff the cardigans are fairly nice i'm sure they're going to be popular look at that fleece vest those boots are banging are they are they Mar is that a morel collaboration you think is it morel what's that brand it's not morel it's a salinger it's a brand that makes mountain boots i forgot the name of them but those boots look banging like waffle knits cardig more cardigans if you're gonna get your tyler crayer asap nast on that's you know probably don't wear this around asap nast he'll probably fight you if he sees you wearing a a sweater vest or a, you know a sweat what's that is that a cardigan vest right um whatever but yeah look how good this stuff is from Stussy. that jacket as well color box sweater over over dyed this is true and the, the, those voluminous those pleated voluminous pants are going to be very popular man if you want to get your if you want to get your kind of east london boy on right and you want to pop down to um what's that what's that magazine shop in shoreditch everyone goes to with the white bag and the blue logo you want to pop down there get yourself a drink at dragon bar and do a bit of people watching with your fixie back to the side this is definitely the vibe in it so 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 bloody good and then scrolling down says here clean construction demonstrates familiarity and confidence clothing as an avenue so what is this mostly the construction type stuff it looks very maybe because um he's monopolized that market but it looks very heron preston-esque in it which is odd because Aaron Preston obviously got a lot of his inspiration from actual, you know, real, I guess, service wear garb or whatnot that he basically reinterpreted in his way. But now whoever does that kind of ends up looking like him. It's interesting. But that, that jacket is banging. That wash canvas shop jacket is really, really nice. They seem like they make good combats too. We go with the vest again. You've got a suit here with the S logo and the hat. You've got a nice sort of Harrington jacket-esque. You've got a nice flannel those jeans look bad those double knee jeans are awesome those boots are look really terrific just all in all great collection even the choice of models man they just, they look so cool don't they just amazing i love everything about it but oh that's the coziest look at that what the hell is that jacket that sherpa shirt that's gonna be popular this reminds me of the old school this reminds me of something that um what 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 they call it again? Oh, I forgot the name of the brand, but this reminds me of a UK brand that would have done something similar. I forgot the name. What's the name? Doesn't matter. But regardless, this is really popular. This is this is gonna be popular, another one. That I think is going to do very, very well. Super, super cozy wear. Again, if you want to get your Drake on and do that little cute e-girl pose in the mirror, this is definitely the stuff that you need to get. So yeah, big up Stussy, full 2021 lookbook looks amazing. So many stuff that I would purchase in a heartbeat. Again, like I said, one of the standout brands out there at the moment. Definitely doing some consistent great work and it's good to see them doing it.